joy or happiness, success or failure, peace or dismay. The foundations of our life rest on the words we receive. A word of hope and guidance, translated from the Temple of Solomon in Brazil. You are listening to a word of faith with Bishop Macedo. Univer Video is your platform for Christian content, and it gives you access to the church meetings of the Universal Church around the world, and they are in English. Even the meetings at the Temple of Solomon that provide live, simultaneous translations to English. All you have to do is sign up. And this is how. Visit www.univervideo.com online or download the application on your mobile device and complete the simple registration form. Have your bank card ready and choose your terms of payment. And before you know it, you'll be up and running. Stay connected to the things of faith during the 21 days fast of Daniel. I came as a fragile being, as one of you. I felt your distress and have taken it all upon me. Therefore, you don't have to suffer because after bearing all of your pain, I declared, it is finished. Hello, my friends. God bless all of you. May the Holy Spirit enlighten the understanding of all of you so that you may comprehend His will for your lives. We spoke yesterday of the prayer of the Lord Jesus, chapter 17 of the book of John, when Jesus said, For I have given to them the words which you have given me. For I have given to them the words which you have given me. And they have received them. There in Jeremiah, it says, Your words were found, and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. The joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. Your words were found and I ate them, and your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart, my soul. And Jesus said to the Father, Father, I have given to them the words which you have given to me, and they have received them. And they have surely known that I came forth from you, and they believe that you have sent me. Then he adds, I pray for them, meaning I pray for those who ate of my word, who drank of my word, who believed in my word, and received my word, and married my word, who were joined to my word. They dived their lives to my word. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world. I do not pray for the world. But for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. And all mine are yours. And yours are mine. And I am glorified in them. 
Look, pay attention, my friend. How wonderful. Jesus makes a distinction, a separation between those who eat of his word, drink of his word, acquire his word, believe in his word, those who receive the word and marry this word, and those, rather from those who disdain from his word. Because the word of God is a lamp to our feet. It is light to our way, our path, the word of God. Jeremiah said here, Your words were found, and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart, of my soul. Jesus said, I have given to them the words which you have given to me. Meaning Jesus makes a distinction between those whom the Father gave to him and those who were not sent. Between those who were called but not chosen. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world. The world is in war. The world is in afflictions. The world is desperate. The world is perishing because Jesus did not pray for the world. And those who are of the world, those who were of the world, expecting a happy world, will die and not see anything because the world will perish. Perish. He even said there will be no stone remained upon stone. This world will burn. It is destined, it is prophesied. This world will burn. It will burn. And those who love the world will also burn with it. But those who prioritize the words of God. The words of God are spirit and life. The words of God are the altar which sanctify the offering. The words of God is the Holy Spirit. The words of God is the bread which descended from heaven. That's why Jeremiah said, your words were found, and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. That's why Jesus said, I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given to me, for they are yours. And all mine, all mine are yours, and yours are mine and I am glorified in them. What does this mean? All are mine and yours are mine. What does he mean with this? What is the understanding which we need to have? It means the following. We are of God. We have nothing. Everything is His. And everything that is His is also ours. When you are in Christ Jesus, you are the richest and most powerful person on earth. Of course, physically, you can be poor. You can live badly, eat badly, live badly physically. But when you have the Word of God, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, You have everything from God. Everything from God is yours and everything you have is of God's. This is the abundant life that Jesus speaks of. Of course, it's obvious that Jews think that if a person is rich, it's because he's blessed by God. If the person is poor, it's because he's cursed by God. God does not love them. 
But this is a fantasy. It's a lie. It's deceit. The rich towards God is the one who has faith. The word of God says that God gives faith to the poor. You can read this there in James. Faith to the poor, not to the rich. So when Jesus says, And all mine are yours, and yours, and yours are mine, he's saying, look, I am 100% surrendered here. I'm yours. You are my treasure, God. You are my glory. You are my salvation. So, when you have this personal conviction, then you are of God, and God is yours. He's your father, your father. But an understanding father, a just father, a loving father, an eternal father, a father who worries about his children and gives the best to his children. Imagine God the Father giving the best to us. There is no way for us not to be happy in this world. There's no way to be unhappy living in communion with Him. That's why you might not be understanding our language, but it's because you did not receive the Holy Spirit. Only those who receive the Holy Spirit understand what I'm saying. And it's obvious when you receive the Holy Spirit, you'll understand perfectly the words of God. They will fall like gloves into your hands. Why? Because God reveals Himself to His children. The Father reveals Himself to the children. That's why Jesus said, And all mine are yours, and yours are mine. Everything you have is mine, and everything I have is yours. That's how it is. And in them, my disciples, I am glorified. He's speaking of his followers, his disciples who believe in his word. Then he continues, Now I am no longer in the world. Jesus was physically in the world at that moment, but spiritually, he was no longer in the world. He was no longer in the world. Why? Because he lived in spirit, and in spirit he was in the presence of the Father. And I am no longer in the world. My thoughts are no longer in the world. But these are in the world. And I come to you, Holy Father, keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they, that they may be one as we are. Do you see the will of God for us to be one? Pay attention, my friend, to God. There is no church A, B, C, the de denomination A, B, or C. To God, there is those who are His and those who are not. To the Lord Jesus, he is attentive and prays various moments for us. It's very glorious. He prays many times for us. He says, I do not pray for them. Excuse me. I don't pray for the world. I pray for them. For those whom you have given me because they are yours. And everything that is yours is mine, and everything that is mine is yours. All my things are yours, all your things are mine. And in them I'm glorified. I'm no longer in the world, but they are in the world. And I come to you. Then he says, Holy Father, keep through your name those whom you have given to me. Meaning the Son. Praise to the Father that He keeps those who are His, whom God gave. 
Father, keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. Meaning, Jesus wants us to be one with him, the Father. Everybody in one spirit, in one faith, in one heart. And this is the purpose of the fast of Daniel starting tomorrow midnight. Tomorrow midnight we start the fast of Daniel and preparing to sanctify ourselves, not just eliminating secular information, but also to remove from the heart grudges, resentment, sin, to leave prostitution, to leave idol and cheap talk and abandon bad company, to turn our backs, who plant and are worthless. Because you know, pay attention. As by hearing the word of God, faith comes. By hearing the word of the devil comes doubt. The word of the devil comes through those people who are not of God. Those people who are filthy, who love sin, who disdain the word of God. So when you hear a person who is not of God, he brings to you doubt. But when you hear the word of God, he brings to you faith. Who are you going to listen to? These days of the fast of Daniel is for us to dive in the word of God and maintain our thoughts constantly focused on that which the Lord promised. And no, Jesus prayed for you, he prayed for me, he prayed for us, and he wants us to be one. I don't know you, you don't know me, and I don't know you, but in spirit, we are one with the Lord. In spirit, we are connected. In spirit, we connect here on earth, and we are also connected in heaven, all right? Tomorrow we start the fast of Daniel at midnight. God bless you all until then in the name of the Lord Jesus. KG Helpline Call Center is open 24 hours a day, every day of the week, all year round. If you need help due to a serious problem you may be going through, if you feel that you have nowhere to turn to and desperately need someone to lend a listening ear, then we can help you. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have done, your religion or race. Your call will be answered by someone who genuinely cares about you and have your best interests at heart. We also arrange home visits or the housebounds and hospital visits for anyone in great need of kindly human contact. Whether it is simply information you want or desperately need someone to talk to, we're here for you.